What's up, peeps? So I am here in Darwin, Philippines, like usual. We're gonna go out and find all the critters we can today. We're gonna do three dives today, two in the day and one at night, as long as the current, uh, you know, cooperates. But if you're new here, my name's Justin, and every day I take you guys out and we go and look for rare and seldom seen marine species under the water. They call me the critter hunter. If you haven't subscribed yet, I think wait until the end of this video. And if you feel like doing it, then awesome. I'd love to have you part of Team Critter. So right now I'm with Katon as usual. She's filming and we have our friend Brady with us today. And of course our expert critter spotter, Alex. Um, a lot of people ask me if we find the critters ourselves. Yeah, some of them, but we, we hire local guides to help us because I don't want to spend my whole time searching. Um, another thing you guys asked for is you want to see how small these things I'm filming are. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that because I looked through all my last episodes and I know they're tiny and some other people might know, but uh, like some of them are maybe a third the size of your pinky fingernail, but I have it such blown up on the screen that you can't really tell so I'm gonna take a stick or maybe my finger put it next to the critter or a golf ball or something and try to compare sizes of different critters so anyways it's hot out here it's like 28 degrees Celsius I'm gonna go get in the ocean and see what we can find today oh and I gotta say a big shout out to my new patreon members getting member new members every month we're doing a big push on Patreon, being a lot more active and filming new kind of behind the scenes stuff that you don't normally see on a regular Critter Hunter episode. So shout out to the new Patreons. And if you guys want to join the team, the link will be down below. Enough chit chat, let's go Critter Hunting. Now these are some strange and you know, I'll be honest, kind of ugly little nudie break. Now me and Finn, we published nudie break of Darwin. You can get that on Amazon, of course, if you haven't heard. And they don't have this species in it because this is the first time seeing them. We just never, in all our surveys and searching, we never saw this species. And all of a sudden we saw two together. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a super bland and ugly little nudie to tell you the truth but still I wish it was in the book this is some sort of lionfish or scorpion fish I'm not sure let me know in the comments below if you know exactly what this is this is a really cool mantis shrimp it's not a peacock mantis I'm not sure what species exactly of mantis it is but it's bright orange. I couldn't believe how bright it was. And then its eyes are just impossible to film. They're just so cool. But this was actually really big. Uh, the circumference of the whole head or body right there is probably five inches. It was really cool. The only thing moving was its eyes, but it was still, it was still all right to film. And there's some leaf sheep. These were huge. You know, I really like filming leaf sheep, but if I could cheat with a big one like this, and then I get a lot better footage, because normally they're freaking microscopic. But this one was so fat, it made it a lot easier. I mean, it's still like the size of a BB from a BB gun, but a lot bigger than normal. Yeah, these guys have the nickname of Sean the Sheep Nudie Brink because apparently they look like Sean the Sheep, the cartoon. Yeah, these sap sucking sea slugs, they can actually be found on pretty much every dive site, this particular species at least. Uh, you, you, if anybody asks me to fell leaf sheep, I always guarantee this one pretty much anywhere. Here's a Eubranca species living on a stinging hydroid. These guys can be super hard to film, very annoying. Those hydroids, you know, those little tiny, tiny, tiny stems that they're living on are the stingiest, I mean, it's like a jellyfish and they're everywhere. 
Uh, I had to wear like long sleeves and gloves for for now on because they just sting like hell and then it itches for like a week. It's it's a nightmare. So they can be really hard to film these guys without touching anything. But I finally did get a pretty good video of them. It was not easy. But these guys are also seasonal. You don't see them year-round. Me and Finn, for our book, we finally found them, but it took a long time. And then all of a sudden, there was a bunch of them. Anyways, if you guys didn't know, we're actually planning my own group trip in Porta Galera in November. November 5, I believe. So, check out the email down below. Send them a message. Tell them you want to join. Because I'm literally... I went down there, that's why I was there, and we planned out the ultimate scuba diving, muck diving, critter hunting trip. So it's going to be based on underwater videography, photography, exploration, not just regular diving. I mean, you can if you want. We're going to Verde Island and stuff. It'll be amazing for anybody, but especially people that want to see or photograph or film really rare species so i hope you guys can join me in november yeah, pretty good first dive and we saw mimics but they're just shy they were going down in their holes uh Gatan has like a, a mirror like this she hangs on her bcd and if the mimics or, or any octopus are in their hole or something she puts it there next to them and usually they come out and play with the mirror they think it's another octopus but didn't really work today, so got no footage. Um, but at least we've seen them. At least we know two mimics are still here. Um, yeah, saw some good stuff. And now we just did a surface interval, had some drinks, and now we're gonna go back out there. Same, same location, but maybe a different area, who knows. So uh, yeah, let's get back out there. So that last dive for me was uh, one hour. So, and then she saw another mimic. So you had to been in the water over two hours, I think, on that second dive. I'm a little, can't hear anything, water in my head, but uh, we're out here, it's perfect. No waves, no current, I hope. Uh, our favorite little night diving site at the moment here in Block Dowen, really hard to find, but it's a spot to go if you know where it's at. Hopefully we can find a Cersei or something. 
uh, I don't know. I don't expect really any uh, octopus, even though we've seen, actually we've seen a lot of octopus here, but who knows, who knows. Uh, it's five, it's six, six right now, so we can pretty much go anytime. I like to be in the water by 6.30. 6.30, it's the darkest, or uh, dark enough to go and be an official night dive. So uh, we actually just pulled up and our friends are diving here. We call this Rocky's Reef because Rocky lives here and he's diving here. Anyways, we're gonna get back in the water. Alex is getting ready. Um, thank you guys again for my new Patreons. You guys are supporting this channel. This is not the cheapest channel to, to make videos, episodes. So thank you guys. Lots more. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so because we're diving every day and, and finding different critters every day that most people haven't seen. So it's an awesome life. Let's get in the water. It's always a good dive when the night starts out with a pair of these spiny tiger shrimp. These guys are not the easiest to film. They're super tiny. They like to hide. They're scared of the lights. They only come out at night and they move super fast. So if you scare them, they're gone in an instant. You don't even know where they went. Next is one of my favorite as well. It's a candy crab and they're really extremely well camouflaged. Uh, they're hard to find. I think they're seasonal as well. These flamboyant cuttlefish have always, always been some of my favorite creatures in the entire ocean. I've been fascinated with them just since the day I first saw them. And I've seen about a million since then, including little tiny ones that are hatching and big ones mating and groups of them. I, I just love these guys. I never get tired of them. I don't always film them because I showed you guys so many of them and you probably get sick of them uh, and I want to film something else but they're just so fascinating to watch. If you don't have a camera and you just want to follow around watch them eating and hunting and changing colors and trying to hide and then changing into like flashing colors trying to scare off a predator, it's incredible. Oh, there, he just caught a little shrimp or something. Now his colors changed. He's happy. <laughs> I actually followed this guy around the next day, and he laid eggs. He laid a whole bunch of eggs. And, uh, yeah, it's incredible. Anyways, guys, hit up that email down below, and I hope to see you in November in Puerto Galera. I promise you, it's going to be the greatest underwater critter hunting exploration scuba diving that you've ever done i planned it myself and it's gonna be insane i planned the perfect trip that i would want to do so i know you guys will too so thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon